Dennis, it's that time of the year again, Lane Show. You've been involved 26 years? Yes. Okay. Now, why should people come to this year's show? Well, you'll notice that this year's show, um, first of all, is bigger than, than the previous years. We have um, a much bigger indoor tent this year. We've got about probably 30 or 40 more stands indoors. A lot more outdoor stands. We've really utilised this field. We've actually gone over the sides of the field. We've got a lovely fun fair this year. Um, yeah, it's, and all the stands have been fully booked long before the show started. We've had a tremendous response this year. I think people saw last year that this is a great venue. And um, yeah, they, they want to come this year. I think we're going to have a good show this year. We've okay. already had a good show. So it's, it's now Friday. Uh, how did it go last night and yesterday? Okay, um, the, the, the comedy show last night was a huge success. We had probably over a thousand people in that beer tent and everybody enjoyed it despite the weather you know the rain came down which is nothing new for the line show rain always comes down when we have a show but um, we had a fantastic crowd there you know they really enjoyed themselves they braved the weather they came in there in their droves they cleaned us out in the pub we had to get more stocks today we didn't expect them to to enjoy that so much the music was great you know the singer was excellent the comedian was absolutely hilarious and it was a really great evening we made good profit last night without a doubt um, for charity obviously and yeah one of the better th th Thursday nights that we've had. At the Did show. you break any records? Last night I think we broke a record as far as the number of people in the tent was concerned. We normally you know average about six seven hundred people last night we hit a thousand in the beer tent with with the comedy evening which is probably our record so far which is fantastic. So uh, tell us about Saturday and Sunday. Um, as far as the arena is concerned, from about 8 o'clock onwards, we've got a strongman competition going on for two hours, sponsored by Superbodies and several other sponsors. And they'll be pushing trucks and lifting huge, huge items here in the arena. It's going to be very busy. And then from about 10 o'clock onwards, I don't have the full um, uh, program with me, we've got Elvira Fenta dancers, we've got a brass band, we'll have the official prize giving, we've got um, the bikers, the Rochelle brothers, and then we've got the South African Police Service are coming to do a demonstration in the arena. And then La, La Roche, sorry, La Roche brothers will be back again in the afternoon. And then um, we'll, that'll be sort of towards the end of the day. And then tomorrow evening we've got um, the Anton Antonio Ravel band playing in the beer tent and they'll be followed by the GJs, which have come back by popular demand. They were a huge success last year. They're a comedy band and they'll have everybody in stitches. They play great music. And then after them we've got a DJ playing until after midnight. So there's a lot happening in the beer tent tomorrow night. Yeah, and for the children I see at the back there you've got the carousel, etc. Yes. Yeah, we that. had to go to great lengths to organize a fun fair again. Uh, 2008 was the last time we had this fun fair. And unfortunately that was the year that the grounds were flooded at the borough fields. And it cost this gentleman something like two million rand in damages because of the floods and he was very wary of coming back to the Lions show and we managed to convince him that this is a new venue, there's better drainage here, there's no chance that his equipment is going to get damaged and he decided to come down and I think he's very happy because he's going to do very well this weekend. There are a lot of people coming just to see the fun fair, the kids. What we've done this year, we've decided that you know um, we get charging 50 rand for adults, 25 rand for kids under 18 and all children under 12 will come in for free as long as they're accompanied by their parents which I think is a great incentive because kids will come in, their parents will wander around, spend money at the stands, support our food stand and our beer tent and at the same time their kids can have a lot of fun in the fun fair and his prices are quite reasonable as well. You've got some lovely rides there, really nice rides. Yeah, and and uh, a big positive this year as last year, uh, the parking. I mean it's, it's just, yes. uh, you know, there's a big difference between what you have here and what you had at the Borough Ground. Absolutely, you know. Uh, for us it was a logistical nightmare at the borough grounds because we had to organize parking discs for us as lions because there's a lot of us involved for the exhibitors they're a separate entity they had to have special parking permits because their parking area was had to be close to the showgrounds and then of course the the, the visitors had to park far away at the, at the, the country at, at the high school this year everybody parks together because the 18th fairway they've given us the 18th fairway it's a massive area everybody parks together and it's a couple of paces and you're in the showgrounds so it's it's wheelchair friendly everything it's really great to have the parking area so close okay, and on behalf of the uh, the lions a message to people who are watching this now i just want to say to everybody thank you so much for supporting us we invite you to come along to the show you will be pleasantly surprised this year's show has something for everybody it there are some stands that we here last year but there's a whole lot of new stands that have come from far and also local stands we've had tremendous input from south coast tourism and um, they've also brought in a lot of the arts and crafts people they've given us sponsorship they're heavily involved with this year's show and i think we're going to see a lot more involvement from them in the future so i, I invite everybody to come down to the show they're going to enjoy it it's a great project and this is our 30th year in operation and we hope to carry it on for another 30 years well, it's an institution it's an institution and certainly something that i'm very passionate about and i know the lions club of port chefs are not passionate about
Thank you very much, and Thanks. on behalf of everybody out there, thank you for all you guys who do all the, the hard work, and thank you. thanks so much. I appreciate it. Thanks very much.